Hello from Harding. This is a short video about how to use Harding Crimp Tool 0999000001. This crimp tool will crimp Arhan D crimp contacts beginning with part number 0915, Arhan E crimp contacts beginning with 0933, and Arhan C crimp contacts beginning with 0932 as the part number. For this video, we're going to crimp a Han E crimp contact, beginning with part number 0933. First thing to do is to install the correct locator. The locator is sold as a separate item and is added to the tool uh, depending on the contact to be crimped. In this case, we have an E stamped at the end because it's for our Han E crimp contacts, beginning with part number 0933. To install the locator on the tool, just place it at the back of the tool, slide the fork into place that holds that onto the tool, and then tighten the knurled nut, finger tight, and the locator is installed on the tool. This is a closed cycle tool, so it has to close completely before it'll open again. If it's partially closed, there's a release lever on the inside to open the tool in case of an emergency. The tool can be rough adjusted to the correct uh, crimp contact size by using these settings at the side of the tool. In this case, the settings for this crimp contact for 16 gauge wire from our Harding catalog is 1.8 millimeters. So we have to set the tool to that correct dimension. So we can make rough adjustments in and out to get the indicator to the about to the correct mark. And then it's necessary to check the tool periodically to make sure that the indenter is always close to the right depth. For that purpose, we have an adjustment gauge. It's sold along with the tool. In this case, we need to use the 1.8 millimeter setting. So we're going to take the, take the gauge for that 1.8 millimeter size and use it to adjust the tool. To adjust the tool, simply close it to have the indenters closed. This tool has four indenters, it's called a four indenter crimp. And then we can insert the gauge in between the four crimp jaws to check and see how well the tool is adjusted. In this case, the tool won't go in, so it needs to, the, the indenters need to be opened up a bit. So what we're gonna do is, at the rear of the tool, make a small adjustment, close the indenters, and see if we can insert the tool to get a light drag as we pull the tool in and out. And that's the case. So now we're ready to uh, crimp a contact. In this case, as I said, it's a 16 uh, gauge wire that we're crimping. And the first step would be to take the contact, in this case it's a female crimp contact, and place it in the tool. And sometimes to stabilize things, it's helpful to close the tool slightly to make it easier to insert the wire and complete the crimping process. So we insert the wire, completely close the tool. It'll open again when it releases. And we have a correctly crimped contact. We can expect for conductor presence by looking in the inspection hole that's uh, visible on the side of the contact to make sure that the conductor is inserted far enough. For assembly into an insert, we have a Han 10 EE female insert here and we're going to place the crimp contact at the rear and you'll hear and feel um, when the contact is correctly seated in the insert. So it's correctly installed. The contacts can be easily removed by using the removal tool part number 0999000319. There's a safety cover to prevent damage to the tip and the operator. You'll notice by every contact cavity, there's a slot at the side. You insert the removal tool until it comes to a stop. You clamp the wire against the side of the tool, against the side of the tool, and remove it to the rear.